Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So, hopefully y'all can hear me. I don't know how to turn this volume up, but hopefully y'all can hear me. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do like a random energy reading. So this is just going to be like a collective reading. I'm working on the Zodiac sign readings or whatever. They all probably be posted by Saturday, but until then I'm going to be doing this or whatever. <laughs> I just was bored and was like, you know what, let me just do a reading, so let's just do it. This is just random energies for the collective, so let's see what come out. Okay, so we have the star, the compass. The star compass, wheel of fortune type thing. I don't even know what to call these. Um, I really need to read the book though to find out what they really are. But I make up my own damn name. So, there you go. Um, so, this is the overall energy. So, it's a number 16. And it's the number um, 6 of hearts. It's so crazy because every time I get a tarot card deck, right, I always look at the star card at first, and then the Wheel of Fortune. This is like both of them in one. <laughs> um, but yeah, somebody's being guided into... Um, somebody's being guided into some type of direction here. This guidance could be leading to a reconciliation. Okay, um... Or lead it to somebody that you have a soul connection with. Somebody that you're very familiar with. Somebody that you know like that. Um, if you haven't met this person before, when you do meet this person, you'll feel real familiar with them. But it's guiding you towards somebody that you have, that you feel familiar with. This person feel like family. Yeah, there's definitely some type of new love or somebody that you're starting to have emotions for or somebody that you're starting to have feelings feelings for or somebody that you have feelings for that you have a deep, um, that you have a love for. This is somebody that you definitely be thinking about a lot um, emotionally here. Like... And don't hate me when I say this, but this is somebody who, um, like, you think about this person so much that a person that's outside looking in would be like, oh, you so delusional, you always thinking about this person, or whatever the case may be, but this is just how much you really love this person or something like that. That's what I'm picking up here. Because we have the rainbow here. Like, this is God's promise. I'm pretty sure it's going to come out when I shuffle these decks. Like, I I know that it's probably is going to come out here. Yeah, it's like you being guided towards happiness here with this rainbow in the corner. And with this number one in the 16, like... That's definitely, like, somebody who you have these emotions for. Like, somebody who you've been dreaming about. You've been fantasizing about them. Or they've been fantasizing about you. But I feel like you've been guided in the right direction towards them. Okay, and if you're not talking to this person, you've been guided to a reconciliation. For sure. Yeah, then the family card comes out at the bottom of the deck. The house. So, this could be somebody who you already have a family with. And a family is reuniting with each other. Or this could be somebody who you want to have a family with. Even if it was like issues in the household, you know, it's, I feel like whatever the issue is, is going to be put to rest. But this looks like two parents and some kids. <laughs> yeah, balancing things out. Giving things a new chance. Giving things another go. Balancing things out here um, with the number one and two, the number 12 up here. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so giving things a chance to progress, giving it, I mean, you, you see the potential. 
one of y'all, one or both of y'all see the potential in the situation for things to balance out and to give it another chance with the, um, the number one. Especially if you have children with this person or you live with them. So like I said, a reconciliation with somebody that you love, you've been guided to do it. Whoever these messages is for. Alright, I'm about to, um, pull some tarot. <laughs> Let's see what come out in the tarot. Like, I absolutely love doing, pulling in the, the Lenormand deck. Especially this one. I like this one a lot. I want to get the other one that he has, though. Um... I think this is the machete um, one, but I want to get the other one that he got. He got a few of them, that, a couple of decks that I actually want to get. But I like pulling up the Lenormand first because it's like I could pick up so much in just this. Yeah, we have this. Oh my goodness, this is so crazy! At the break, we have the star, and we have the sun. Yeah. So a lot of healing is coming here, a lot of happiness. You about to get a lot of clarity when it comes to this person here. So I feel like an Aquarian could be involved, a Leo. Okay, um, I mean you don't have to be. You can have those signs in your chart, but yeah, happiness, a lot of happiness and clarity coming and healing. You know, healing it. It's going to make you guys happy to heal the situation especially if you and this person like i said a reconciliation is coming especially if you and this person got kids together or something like that or y'all just in a family setting who the fuck is calling and i said that i'm recording <laughs> Jeez. Don't these people know that it'd be um 12 o'clock at night. Alright, let's see what energy come out. Messages for the collective, please and thank you. Ooh. Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords here. And, uh, the Judgment and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so we already seen the Ace of Pentacles already, um, where was it? Here with the birdhouse. See the number 12. And it's the diamond, seven of diamonds. So we already seen this. Oh my gosh. Hold up. I got to show y'all this. Damn, baby. So I just picked up this birdhouse. Look what's underneath. The ring. Wow. The ring is the number 25, ace of wands. Yeah. Remember I was saying it could have been some type of conflict. Okay. With the number um 25. There could have been some type of conflict here. If somebody is choosing to turn to look the other way on the conflict, you know, and start to spark this passion up again, it's about to be a ring, especially whoever this is that you connected with, that you may have kids with, or something like that. A reconciliation is coming. I feel like this is for the long haul. I really feel like this is for the long haul. Family, marriage. And I feel like the situation is going to be protected. Yeah, underneath of the ring is the um, the family tree. And look, it's another rainbow in the back. Wow. Three seven 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 seven. And then here goes the seven of hearts again. That's the one that we've seen here with the number 16 in the heart. See? So the number is just repeating itself. I'm just picking up from the bottom of this deck right here. I just set it, set it down. Wow. Yeah, you're going to have a successful lineage here. Whoever this person is that you tied to or whatever, you guys are going to be successful. Uh, yeah, you're going to be strong.
Okay, let me put these back and let me focus on this. So like I was saying, I forgot why I even went to that. Oh, because of this Ace of Pentacles here um, that, I, that fell out. So yeah, we have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Judgment. So yeah, somebody is deciding to give somebody a new opportunity. Okay, so this could be you or them. Like I was saying with this card here, okay, a new opportunity is coming here. I think it was with the house. Yeah, it was with the bird house. So a new opportunity is coming where you're going to be reconciled with somebody who you have kids with or reckon with, with somebody, reconciled with somebody in your family here. So you already made this decision with the judgment here. And this is something that you've been having on your mind. Like you've been stuck. This has been on your mind for a while. I don't think you've been communicating it. I don't think you've been taking action on it. But I feel like you're about to. This is something that you've just been thinking about. Or something that somebody has been thinking about. If this not you, then this is the other people energy. <laughs> Y'all know how tarot go. I don't, I don't be explaining all that. <laughs> Either you get it or you don't. <laughs> That's how, my motto. When do they come and get the trash on Mondays? I thought that, that they set it out on Tuesday. I mean, they better come get this damn trash tomorrow. They must be picking up the um the recycling bins. I know y'all hear that outside. I'm sorry if y'all do. Because I hear it's like a block away. They out they must be picking up the recycling stuff, but I thought that they'd do that on Monday morning. This wasn't Tuesday. All right, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm going all off. I'm not taking all these goddamn cards. Oh, no, but I'm going to look at them real quick. Let me see. So, we have the Five of Cups, Four of Swords, Princess of Discs, Three of Cups. Death. Okay, I'm going to talk about these because they came out and then this one as well. So let's talk about these real quick. <sighs> so a whole.